Good afternoon, this is Steve Hogan. I'm the mayor of the city of Camas. Thank you for joining us on this video for the month of August. First things first, I want to have a big thank you for all the residents of Camas and the residents of Washugal. We passed two bonds for fire stations. Thank you very much. Those bonds are going to go up for uh, purchase in probably um, 30 to 60 days. And uh, our bonds are rated AAA, which means that they're on a global scale the best in the world and we plan on putting those bonds out and getting a very good discount for the taxpayers. So thank you again for supporting our fire personnel and our EMS personnel with this bond, these two bonds. Thanks. So those of you who may not be aware, this new facility in downtown Camas will help us be ready to serve the community for the next 20 years and um, that'll be great for all of us. So the next subject is the fact that we are in the time period where we need to do another biennial budget and uh, we're just about to start that process. We need your participation in this. We're looking at the services and uh, we want to maintain a high level of service and meet the needs of our community. So there will be much debate and it would be nice if you came to the meetings and gave your input on what you wanted to see in the future. We want to let you know that this is going to be a tight budget year and that it's going to be some tough decisions that we have to make. We want to make sure that we deliver the services that you want in the community. That's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons we want to have you guys come in and actually attend the budget meetings. But um, all around Clark County, we are having troubles coming up with enough revenue to hold our services and it'll be a tough year. So please do join us at our meetings. So luckily we're in the middle of drawing up our strategic plan and setting the priorities and matching the needs uh, that we have in the community versus the desires that the community wants. So um, that, that'll be a big part and it's good that we're doing this strategic plan right now. We are working on the list of people that have applied to be on this committee and we are whittling it down and we will uh, let everyone know in the near future who's on the committee and we want you to be a part of the committee all the way through the process if you volunteered. Thank you. Another topic I'd like to talk about is the 38th Avenue project. The street is being worked on. It'll start in September and um, it's fully funded and uh, we will probably still be working on this next spring. So we'll get as much done as we can in this fall and then we will finish it off early spring next year. So thanks for your patience and we look forward to that main road uh, being the beautiful type of road that we designed it to be. So thank you. Next topic is the Lake and Sierra Road. We had a safety problem. We have a safety problem there. And we would uh, like to thank all the citizens that made public input in this process. This helped the council to come to a decision. The decision has been rendered that we're going to have a roundabout there and the roundabout was picked because it's the safest and it'll provide safety for decades to come. So thank you for your input and uh, we should start that process in the near future. Thanks. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to Trang Lam for her three and a half years of service with our city. Uh, during that three and a half years, she has done an excellent job and uh, our parks and rec system has been improved. We've uh, noted that she has had millions of dollars of grant money that she's brought in so that the taxpayers don't have to pay as much for the projects that we have going. So Trang Lam, thank you very much. Um, and. Congratulations on being the new 
Executive Director of the Port of Camas Washougal. I plan to work with you along with other staff members here uh, on projects as we move forward. So best of luck and uh, hope to see you soon. And lastly, um, I want to remind everyone that the schools are going to be open after August and um, our children in the community are going to be moving through the city again on a regular basis. Please be safe out there. Make sure that uh, our children stay, stay safe and um, look forward to a great fall and hope to see you at uh, the soccer or the football games or whatever events are taking place throughout the city. So have a good one. Thank you.